Hey there fashionistas, welcome to a new installation of 5 to 15 minutes of fashion with your resident logo host, Sebby Pride, Nina Johnson. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Trust me, you're going to love it here and you're going to want to be in the know about all the things discussed on the show. And if this isn't your first time here, congrats to you on making bad life choices and welcome back so we can talk about all the fabulous, fashionable, fantastic, yet unnecessary things that we can spend our hard-earned money on. Today's show is all about fun designer font, designer inspired finds for spring on into fall, just some super cute stuff. Um, before I jump into it, what am I wearing? This is a philosophy shirt, got it from Farfetch, and I have on a pair of the Chanel earrings, the CHA, any L. I don't know if it's the right, you know, order for you, but you get it, you feel me. I'm gonna jump right in because I'm gonna try to be respectful of people's time, but I am gonna give like one little non sequitur because I thank you guys for staying through all the randomness for like the tiny little nuggets that you get, so I appreciate you. But if you see a lipstick on my teeth, it's red lipstick, just keep keep it moving. Also, next to my cloth where I shoot these videos, closet slash office, where I shoot these videos, there's a guest bathroom and my hair, I kind of have wedding hair, but I kind of kept it because my daughter was like, mommy, you look so pretty. And three-year-olds don't lie, like if you look bad, they will tell you. So I was like, oh my God, maybe I'm pretty. So I sprayed my wedding hair with cheap hairspray out of there and it like put all these little white flakes in my hair. So I do not have atopic dermatitis or danger for anything. It is just cheap hairspray and it is karma for putting the cheap hairspray in the guest room. Like who does their guests like that? Apparently I do. Jumping in, sorry for all the randomness. So first item up, you guys saw this Balmain blazer, loved it, I love Balmain. Couldn't justify it, hold on, let me pull this up for you. Couldn't justify it, 30, basically $3,200 for this pink blazer, I loved it. I love the pink gingham check, I love the exaggerated shoulders. She is a look, she is fantastic. But for $3,200, I just, I couldn't make it make sense, you know? Lucky for me, Fast fashion is always on top of it. So I found this guy on Zara, or at Zara, on Zara. Um, how cute is it? Gingham print, love it. Exaggerated shoulder, here for it. A little matching set that I could do, you know, they sold separately, but I could get the skirt, wear it with or without. Like, love it, super, super, super adorable. Now it is single breasted, but Still love it. And it is like a definite wink to the Balmain blazer. And for, is it $89, $89, 90 bucks. I can't really see it because I put my glasses on and your girl needs glasses. Um, For 80 bucks, like why not, right? Love it, super cute. So that's my first item. And structured shoulders are just like all the craze. Still on the runway everywhere, just digging it. So that is a definite throw in the bag. Note for that one though, I hate when Zara does this. Like, don't put the item up until the size is available. They have that email me when it's available up. So this item isn't quite, isn't quite, it's not available yet. So if you want to watch it, log on to Zara and then you'll have to click your size and just type in your email and they'll email you when it's available. But the T is, sometimes they email you, I don't know why, I think I just had a brain fart. Where, where was I headed with that? <laughs> yeah, this is where I can hear my daughter and it's a distraction. Where was I headed with that? So the T is, Sometimes they forget to email you or they email you after it's been released and it's sold out, which is so obnoxious. So I kind of just check it like three to four times a day. But if you have a life and more important things to do, just put your email in and then pray for the best. But if you just check it pretty frequently, you might have better luck. Okay, next up. So Saint Laurent released their um, uh, fall, winter 2021 collection. So cute, so here for it. I saw it and I it felt very Chanel to me and then I'm seeing like lots of um, kind of fashion TikTokers like make fun of it and they keep like pretending to like say, oh, did you see the new, Ch I mean Saint Laurent, like they keep calling it Chanel because it just it's giving me Chanel vibes. But this is the Saint Laurent collection and I'm gonna show you a couple pieces. So love this blue jacket and matching skirt. Of course they're doing faux fur because it's woke culture. I'm, and I hope I don't insult anybody with that, but can we just have some fur, PETA? I mean, if we eat the animal, is it not okay to wear the fur? Like, if I eat the mink, can I have, like, if I have myself a little mink steak, can I also have the jet? I don't know. 
don't you know what if you need to unfollow me for that that's gonna happen again so this is where you want to unfollow because i love animals i'm not about animal cruelty but i love my real fur all that to say this is faux fur but it's super cute love the turquoise here just loving the idea of they're bringing back like tweed blazers and little mini skirts or skorts and shorts and I love it. It's totally like, it feels like a nod to Clueless because I grew up in that era and freaking loved Cher and Dion. So great, but love this look. Now, I don't love the price tag on this look. I mean, one of these jackets alone was probably $5,000. But what I did find back at Zara is some super adorable designer inspired looks. Now, I don't know if I'm going to look like this girl because this girl is just giving me so much life with the hair, the glass, the shades, just everything. Also, I mean, I'm probably not gonna look like that, but I'm buying it. It's super cute. So I love the pink tweed blazer with the shorts. I mean, it's just super adorable. Is it not? Just so cute. Then I also found this little ditty. This is giving me a lot of vibes of the turquoise um, Saint Laurent outfit. And then here we are with you see oh this one's super cute it's my girl again with the white shades boo queen everything about you is you're gorgeous so i'm probably not gonna look like that but i'm gonna buy that one too i need them all but i love this this yellow the tweed and the skirt and is this a skirt or a skirt it's sold separately but i think it comes with like a little it's a little mini dress love everything about it super cute little wink to i would say like chanel saint laurent very on trend very fresh very hip Love everything about it. Now the next step, this item may cause a little bit of controversy because I don't know, my husband doesn't like them. I love them. One of the YouTubers I follow, she's like, I like them, not on me. I think they're great. I think it's a fun, fresh hip shoe. I think it's all, it's on trend. A lot of the trends right now, I feel like everything is very 80s. I love a bright neon color. I love a thick block, chunky heel. Like I think everything about it is super fresh. And I think the Attico right now is just fuego like just everything they're doing right now is just on trend and on point and so fresh and just impeccably done oh god how did my dog get in here for the love <laughs> stop <laughs> dang it am i gonna have to cut take no power through so uh attico shoes <laughs> these are the neon green ones check out the heel on this shoe is it not everything so cute love everything about it adorable right and i think they have them in like a purple or pink and the unfortunate thing is even if you wanted to get the designer item sold out like i cannot freaking find the shoe and i am like a detective i'm like the fbi when i want to find something like i am the person you message if you were looking for an item from like 1990 like i will find it for you like this is just what i do and i am on the struggle bus to find these specifically in my size. I haven't been looking at other sizes, but I'm just on the struggle bus. But the designer inspired version of this Attico shoe, um, love it. It's from Ego Shoes. Let me put it up. It's from Ego Shoes. Ego is out of the UK. Love Ego. They have like the block heel here. It's, um, it is a thong sandal, which I don't know how I feel about that. I always feel like when I end up with like a thong heel, I slide down and it just kind of like tra chafes and hurts in between my toes, like it does not feel good. So I feel like these would be a little less comfortable, but they're really cute, are they not, right? So, and for, I can't see the price, but I think like last time I checked, they were like 50 bucks. And then right now at Ego Shoes, everything is 50% off. Also, Ego's great for like Bottega Veneta, um, inspired shoes they're just like all over all the designer trends right now so ego is great you should go check them out and they have really frequent sales so they're great okay next up this item again another blazer I just feel like that's where I am people I'm all about a blazer lately so this is a Balenciaga <clears throat> oh my god I need water Again, I told you, we don't ask our husbands for water because he's gonna want an HOA meeting. If you know what that means, go back and watch one of my older videos. I may put like it over here. Watch this video and you'll find out all about the HOA meeting. So, um, love this Balenciaga blazer. I think Bonbon's doing a shoulder like this. I saw someone else do it. 
what else? It's a woman. I don't know. Balenciaga, Balmain, and it was like a third one that I can't remember. But how cute is this pointed structured shoulder blazer? It is so extra. It is so unnecessary. But it, I want it all the more for those reasons alone. Now, I do think this is a piece that's going to tr transition you into fall very nicely. I think you could do it like, honestly, I would do it with denim shorts and like a pump and just be super extra. But if you're not about that life, then, you know, tone it down with a pair of black, so black slacks. And also, this jacket is $3,000. Like, come on really and i mean it's a black blazer but because of the pointed like structured shoulder it isn't like it's gonna be that versatile like you can wear it a ton like there she is again with the blazer with the pointed no you just can't do it a lot so lucky for us i found it here at okay caveat i just don't like fashion nova sometimes because i feel like they have a tendency to knock off like smaller designers which I don't appreciate because don't knock off the little guy. But I mean, I don't care if they knock off Balenciaga. Like, no one is shopping at Fashion Nova. I mean, not, what, how do I want to say this? No one who, um, I guess in short, Balenciaga's not losing anything if someone shops at Fashion Nova because people do shop at both. But, like, I hate when they knock off the little guy. Like, don't, you don't need to sell it for $50 if the smaller designer is selling it for $200. Like, let the smaller designer have that. But I totally get, like, making the $3,000 thing available for $100. Like, democratizing, like, super high fashion. I have no problems with that. But I just don't like when they knock over, like, they knock off, knock over. They, I mean, that may be appropriate, too. When they knock off the little guy, it makes me very annoyed. But anywho, found this here. Less annoyed because it's Balenciaga. Like, who cares? They're going to get their money. They're fine. Um, so found it here. Really cute. I mean, I'm not really feeling this like dog collar thing she's wearing. I mean, to each his own, not really my thing, but I love it. I think it's super cute. And honestly, I think I may just do this version because I can't make it make sense right now. But stranger things have happened. I have made lots of stupid things that were way too expensive make sense. So stay tuned. We'll figure out. We'll see. See how it goes. Um, next up... These Bottega Veneta mesh sandals. So I have a black pair here. And then I also have a yellow wrap up, like the, that wraps up the heel. Love these Bottega Veneta mesh sandals. But I don't know, they're kind of, you guys, just about these though. Like I tried them on and I was like, I mean, maybe I'll like them. I'm not really sure. I tried them on and I just think I bought them because of this little gold chain. I mean, I put it on and I felt like, I don't know, it just took me back. Like I put it on and I started like wrap and push it. It just felt like salt and pepper's here and we're in effect. Want you to push it back, cooling by day and at night, working up a sweat. Come on girls, let's go show the guys that you know how to become number one in the hot body show. Now push it. Um, dun -dun 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 -dun. Um. Push it good. Um, da, 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 da. Push it real good. Um, da, da. So, it's the gold chain for me. It just felt like ankle bracelet. It felt like asymmetrical haircut. It felt like din like maybe a leather, like members only jacket. I don't know. I just love them so much. But they're quite pricey. So, I did find you some designer inspired versions. Not of the gold chain. But of the ones that, after all that, not of the gold chains, of the ones that like wrap up your ankle. So, first up, let's go over the Bottega Veneta first. So, here we are. They have them in white, which is very pretty. Then they have them in what they call tomato, or tomato. Then they have them in, this is called grass, and a yolk. I have them in yolk. I don't know why Bottega Veneta is being so extra. This is red, green, and yellow Bottega Veneta. Um, and here they are in black. Super cool. So I found them at Shein for, boo, why are you squatting in this picture? <laughs> um, but I found them at Shein. They're really pretty. I found them in the nude. I actually buy them in the nude because I've purchased the black pair and I have the yellow pair and I can't like do another like pair this expensive, this same brand. It just feels like the thirst for Bottega Veneta would be too real. So love them though. And then I also saw them in 
So I'm thinking about the nude, but then I saw them in black. Same store. And the black's pretty cool. The heel's a little bit different, but I think it's cute. The heel's a little chunkier on the end, but I think it's a very appropriate designer inspired version. And then they have them in this really pretty blue. And this blue reminds me of a color that Balenciaga, Balenciaga, Bottega Veneta does called Pool. And it's very, they don't do the shoe, but I love it in the blue. Like I'm contemplating getting it in the blue. So very fun shoe there. I love it. And this shoe is like 30 bucks. And for 30 bucks, I say get multiple colors. Like why not? Next up, so I have not purchased this bag yet um, and it needs to be added to my collection I'm not really sure why I can't pull the trigger on it it's a gorgeous bag I just have this feeling that if I buy it like I would always have a bag that like would compete with it so let me show it to you um, and let's talk about it so I love the I'm just gonna go to like this Google and we're just gonna stroll scroll so I love the um, YSL Lulu bag we have ton of different versions I love like the black on black version they have this version's really pretty the black on black with um, just the thicker quilt the thicker puffer love that um, let's see I just love this and here's a little green one just scrolling past really quickly that's a bigger pillowy puff kind of thing keep scrolling just scrolling up now but love this particular bag and for some reason, I feel like the colors I'm looking at, like I feel like if I was ever gonna carry like a black quilted bag, like would I choose my Chanel bag? And if I was ever gonna carry like a pillowy bag, I'd probably choose my 19. I don't know, I just, I'm gonna buy one and just see where the spirit takes me. I'm not really sure. I keep leaning towards the like murdered out version. I love the black on black. But for some reason, I can't pull the trigger. So what may be a good idea for me to do, so this is the YSL Lulu, is this Rebecca Minkoff? 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 Um, the Edie. So let's scroll through the Edie. So here we have the Edie. First of all, I'm all about this tan one. Very cute. And I feel like that's a different look to anything that I own. Very cute bag. Um, and I think this bag is in the $300 range, so that's really cute. And then they have the murdered out version of this bag. So black on black, which I love, murdered out. Black on black, accoutrement. Not like black with silver or black with gold. So I think that's really pretty too. Um, what else is there? Oh, and then here they have like a thicker, pillowy quilted version that's a really cute bag for $300 and then I saw that they were doing like a 30% off like for moms treat yourself I mean I'm a mom we're all a mom to something I mean if you have a baby if you have a doggy if you birth a thesis for your PhD you're a mom treat yourself girl so love this bag just gonna keep scrolling through here love the thick quilted one um the black quilted one, love that. Oh, love this backpack, super cute. Love the nylon backpack. That's, I wonder how that nylon, like would it be durable? It just feels like a pair of wind shorts that I would wear like to cheerleading camp when I was in middle school. Like they're just like, just the windbreaker shorts. You know what I'm talking about? Like the Sophie ones that you fall down, like before the cotton ones were in. Do you know the windbreaker shorts that you wear like the biker shorts under? You know what I'm talking about? I just wonder if they would be durable. Just, just my thoughts, all my thoughts out loud that you don't need to hear. You guys, that is the end of this random episode of five to 15 minutes of fashion. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you guys next time doing a really cool green handbag review and you are not gonna wanna miss it. You will regret it, trust me. Would I lie to you? No, I would not. Anywho, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you guys next time. In the meantime and in between time, hug each other, love each other and stay fabulous dolls.